Check it out, friends. Cat has entered the battery-powered outdoor power equipment market, and they are going really strong with this 800 CFM blower right here, 60 volt. So in today's video, we're gonna put it to the test so you can see if it's right for you. Let's go. So if you're looking for a handheld leaf blower, I think this one right here is going to really work well for you. So let me give you a close hand look all the way around. So this particular one includes this battery right here and the charger. So this is a 60 volt, five amp hour battery. So it's pretty heavy. Let me go grab my scale for you. Six pounds, 1.4 ounces. So yeah, this battery is definitely a beast. If you're wondering how it compares to like the big Milwaukee, this is the 12 amp hour. You can just see it's quite a bit heavier right there, bigger. So let's get a quick measurement right there. Five inches by say about seven and a half. Height is five inches. So yeah, it's definitely a beast. We're gonna check the runtime on that in a minute. Okay, this definitely has some nice features to it. It's very powerful. So here's one of the things that I like with the handheld leaf blower. It's when your clothes don't pull into the air intake and it definitely doesn't with this one right here. So while I have this tube off right here, it looks to me that you could use this as a stubby blower. So let's say you're a car detailer and you wanna get really close. All right, so let's finish going through the speeds. Here's speed one, two, and three. And then we have turbo. Gotta say, I love the turbo button. That is just my favorite. This really works well when you have to blast the grass out of your lawnmower. Sometimes when I get done mowing, the thing I like about a leaf blower that's battery powered is I can just go and grab it and just instantly have full power. I don't have to let it warm up. I don't have to pull start it. I just have the battery in there, grab it, and then I just do that right there and I can get that lawnmower deck clean. I notice when I use this, I tend to like to just have it a little bit further out. I think that just keeps the air in a narrower pattern, but if you're probably trying to do a real wide pattern, then you'd wanna pull that in a little bit. And then, like I said, to, for doing like car detailing, you don't want to scratch your car and get close to it. Then you have, then you have this option right here as well. All right, so let's take a look at the underside of this right here. So you can see right there is a nail hook. So if you want to hang this on the wall, that'd be really handy to have somewhere nearby. So when you're done mowing, want to do the cleanup of your yard or sidewalk, you have that. So I noticed right there, there's a little metal hook. I guess if you wanted to put some type of harness over your shoulder, it could attach to that. But the weight of this, if you're wondering how it's balanced, I would say this, with this battery, you know, it's, this battery is heavy, but the location of it seems to work really well. So it's easy to go back and forth. Definitely is going to be one of my favorites. I'm definitely sure of that. All right, Leo, what do you think? Do you like this cat blower? In order for me to do the runtime test, I'm about to use this orange twist tie right here. I picked these up at Home Depot. So if you can see right here, this is the trigger. And at first I thought it was a variable speed, but it's not. So the way that you can adjust the speed is with this knob right here. So you have zero, one, two, and three. So the way we're gonna test this, I'm gonna put this twist tie around the trigger so it holds it on speed number three. We're not gonna use the turbo button. And then on the end here, I have some ribbon. It's probably about two foot long. It's quite a bit of wind, so you'll see this 
fighting against the wind, but on speed three, should be going mostly straight out. So I have my stopwatch ready, go. Two minutes. Twenty-four minutes. Still going. All right. Twenty-four minutes, forty-six seconds. That is impressive. I was thinking we might get maybe I don't know, fifteen, sixteen minutes because it puts out eight hundred CFM. But the fact that it just kept going at probably around 21 minutes, that's when I noticed it's starting to slow down just a touch, not very much. And then it slowed down again, like at maybe 23. And still at 24 minutes, it's putting out some decent power. So this is very impressive. All right, so now when you're done, we have this charger right here. I believe it will do it in about an hour. Let's plug it in a minute. So what I like here when you go to eject the battery, you push that little red button down, you'll see it's somewhat spring-loaded. See how that pops out like that? Just makes it a little bit easier. I like that little touch right there. Go ahead. Let me get close to my mic. You can hear that fan running. I've been checking the charge time on this battery. So far it's been one hour and 23 minutes. It should be done here pretty quick. So I always wanna make sure you guys have the specs. So this is model DG651. So as I mentioned, this is the kit that has the battery and the charger. This has a five-year warranty on the tool, three-year warranty on the battery. So taking a look at the specs, this is 60 volt, rated at 170 miles per hour, 800 CFM, and it's 11.25 pounds. Let's check. That says 10 pounds, 13 ounces. That says 11.5, huh. So here's a look inside the 60 volt battery, what you're gonna find. So it has innovative material, which keeps the cells cool. Then it has intelligent battery management system. So that would be one of those situations where it economizes the battery, but when you need that extra power, then it'll supply it. And with the battery, it has a 360 degree cell protection. So if you get into this CAT platform with a 60 volt battery, there's several other tools right here in outdoor power equipment that you can get. They have a push mower, an edger, a couple blowers, a couple chainsaws, a hedge trimmer. And you know, if there's something else that you would like to see them come out with, put a comment down below. I'd like to know what other outdoor power equipment you'd like to see. So I've been testing handheld battery powered leaf blowers for several years now. The very first one they ever tried was by Works. And the one thing that, just a little minor thing that would drive me nuts, every time I turn it on, it had a really loud beep noise. And I just wanted to be able to disassemble that beep. I don't know why they had it. Just maybe as a safety thing, letting you know, hey, it's powering up. I like with this right here, and I'm not noticing any other companies doing that anymore, but when you go ahead and you pull the trigger, it's just on off. You don't have to listen to that beep noise. So yeah, this works very smooth. And as I mentioned, having that turbo button, that's a big plus for me. I definitely like that. So this one right here, can't say enough good things. If there's something that you'd like to know about it or good or bad, put them down below. If there's a change you'd like to see and I'll have a link to this as well. So you, that way you can see the current price down in the video description. So if you enjoy this video, I do have another video by Cat. It's a chainsaw video. That link will be right over here. And then if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you wanna see some other tool reviews, go ahead, subscribe. That way you don't miss out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.